I even begin to describe the anime that is Dream Hunter Rem? Is it a magical girl show? Is it a drama? Is it a murder mystery? Well, the answer is it's a little bit of everything. Dream Hunter Rem is a Yuri Hentai ultra-violent bikini warrior ghost story magnum-wielding magical girl Friday the 13th style murder mystery series from 1985. And man, is it one of the craziest shows I have ever seen. In the first 20 minutes, Rem has a fight with the dragon using a cute little car that has rocket launchers in the back, almost gets raped by an oni, fights an army of low-level Dragon Quest monsters with her magic sword, hugs a kitten and a puppy, has her skin melted off, and then revives herself, cuddles with another cute girl, and has a sword fight. That's only the first 20 minutes of this show. Originally released as a hentai OVA, so many pornography enthusiasts were impressed with the production values that the creators decided to rebrand it and continue on as a regular series. So what's this show about, anyway? Well, tucked away in a side street of Aoyama, Tokyo, stands a small business run by a green-haired girl who goes by the name of Ayano Koji Rem. Try and say that three times fast. Rem is a dream hunter. She's a person gifted with the ability to enter people's dreams, and using this ability, she runs a detective agency specializing in paranormal phenomena. But for a detective agency, she really doesn't do any detective work, even though she has the whole Sherlock Holmes thing going. Rem is more of an exorcist than anything. The first episode starts off fairly normal. A client tracks down Rem on the recommendation of a friend, and is surprised to find that the entire place is run by a single girl and her two pets. She must get paid out the ass, though, because Rem carries a magnum around her wherever she goes, and it runs on silver bullets with little crosses carved into the tips. <laughs> Already off to a good start. I know if I fought things like dragons and tentacle monsters on a regular basis, I would sure as hell carry a gun around with me, wouldn't you? So off she goes to combat evil. Her client's daughter has been besieged by penis demons, and it's up to Rem to save the day. I wish I got paid to sleep on the job. Oh, and I'm not making this up either. This really is the plot of the first episode of Dream Hunter Rem. Those dick-shaped rocks, they aren't there just for show. Immediately after showing up, she's greeted by your average, everyday tentacle monster. And only ten minutes into the show, our main character's already dead. If you're like me and loves violence in your anime, then Dream Hunter Rem has that in spades. Beheadings, torture, people getting killed in their sleep. There's a little something for everybody. It's like a grab bag of everything modern anime is too afraid to do. So what's a girl with a magnum to do against cock monsters? Why strip down to a bikini and bring out a broadsword, of course. By the power of Grey Skull. Hey, it's Ultraman! The demon turns into a barbarian, fights Rem some more, and then threatens to kill the girl whose dream they're in, because if you die in the dream, you die for real. Lucky for Rem, she carries a watch on her all the time, and her alarm wakes her up just in time to exit the nightmare. This forces him to chase Rem and fight her in the real world, but barbarian mode wasn't even his final form, and suddenly Rem finds herself fighting a fucking dragon. Literally a dragon that kills by fucking people to death. You won't find that in modern anime. You can tell the animators had a lot of fun with this, as the entire sequence is extremely well animated. I can see why Rem stopped being a hentai after the very first episode. Since guns don't work on dragons, Rem jumps into her James Bond car and takes it down with a missile launcher! Boss cleared, Rem gets paid, and in cute girl fashion, the root of the problem is fixed by Rem suggesting the girl get a boyfriend. I cannot stress this enough, this is the most normal episode of this show, the most normal. The following can only be described as what happens when people who only know how to draw porn are given huge wads of cash and then told to do whatever they want with the show from that point on. But not before an educational message for the children. Stupid idiot! Fuck, we're all dead! Get the fuck out! Rem's Corner is cute and tackles subjects like dreams, how the brain works, and serves as a mid-OVA intermission. 
I wonder how common this sort of thing was. It reminds me a lot of Gunbuster's science lessons, and I never realized how badly I wanted this back in modern anime before Dream Hunter Rem reminded me that these sort of things exist. And then the show gets dark. Just listen to that music. You know things are gonna get really messed up here. Violent Dream Dr. Death Resurrected is the second half of Dream Hunter Rem and is the anime's first attempt at doing something that isn't porn. From this point on, Rem stops being a hentai show and instead turns into a hyper-violent murder mystery. A man going by the name of Dr. Death has rolled into town, and he's murdering every young girl he can get his vampire magician hands on. And as if majoring in death wasn't enough, he also minored in preserving anime girls in fish tanks. On the run and finally cornered by Detective Sakaki, he gets shot square in the head and he just laughs it off. The man's name is Dr. Death. What did you expect was gonna happen? Killing him only made things worse, and just a few weeks later we cut to Colonel Sanders' math class and we get possibly one of the best scenes in anime history. Jesus Christ, well that escalated quickly. You'll never be the head of a major corporation. Okay, that'll do. Okay. So with nowhere else to turn, the police commission Dream Hunter Rem, and as soon as she gets the job, we find out she has her own Batman-style escape tunnel just so she can launch off a ramp when she starts her jobs. Using his own daughter as bait, Detective Sakaki and Rem organize a stakeout with the help of an aesthetic monk that just so happened to be walking by their house at 3 a.m. Oh, man. <laughs> You okay there, Rem? Did you forget that the anime was still going on? Rem jumps into the girl's dream, another fight breaks out, and Rem loses! He even ties her pets to the torture device. Now that's evil! Turns out, being shot in the head with a magnum was his one weakness, and the battle takes to the streets, but he picked the wrong girl to have a missile launcher fight with. Shot in the head for the third time, Rem finally wins, and Dr. Death is dead. Except he's not, cause he's death! It's like the end of the Friday the 13th movie. Don't you just love it when the main villain wins? Rem's adventures don't stop there though, and I still haven't even talked about the time Rem fought off an entire school full of zombies, her struggle against a possessed suit of samurai armor that murders an entire town, or that time she one on one a gigantic mech fueled by the blood of the undead. Coincidentally, 1985 also saw the release of another popful Bikini Warrior OVA going by the name of Dream Dimensional Hunter Fandora. What are the odds, right? I like to think that the animators of Japan at the time are all close friends and shared similar ideas with one another, because in my eyes, Dream Hunter Rem is the personification of 1980s otaku's ganbate attitude towards making anime. They really just did whatever the hell they wanted. Despite coming out over 30 years ago, Rem still holds a small but devoted fanbase, and just last year was a playable character in the Super Robot Wars spin-off Super Heroine Chronicle, and even continued on recently in manga form. Rem has absolutely everything. Dragons, ultraviolence, yuri and nudity, absolutely moronic side characters, cute animals, robots, guns, Ghosts, Samurai, and Ghost Samurai, James Bond-style cars with missile launchers, murder mysteries, a Dracula that shoots rockets from his cape. I mean, goddamn, what did Rem not have? Whether it pulled this all together well is something else entirely, but in my eyes, I give Dream Hunter Rem at least a 4 out of 5. It's well animated, the music is great, it's super creative, and if you want a break from modern anime and want to try something different and that'll surprise you, Dream Hunter Rem is a great choice just for anybody who wants to sit down and watch something different. Go ahead and check it out, it's Dream Hunter Rem from 1985.